Rayo versus Sevilla. Rayo plus 110. Shouldn't be plus 110 against anybody in any league. Sevilla at plus 255. That's why they're Rayo at plus 110. The draw has got to be a runner at plus 245 here. I'm not sure. But either side here scored twice. So you're not looking uh, anything big. It's over or under 2.25 with the over being at minus 108. Rayo to score a two is at plus 133. Klaus. Rayo versus Sevilla. Uh, listen, I stayed away from this one, but if I had to go with something, I think both teams will score. Both defenses have been trash all season. Sevilla is very close to relegation. Not not really close, but close. They're, if I'm not mistaken, 16th or 17th. So they're, the, they're at the bottom of the league. They're still not able to get results. As, as Oaks has been saying throughout the season, they're a broken club. And I just don't see him winning here. I mean, listen, Raya put a pretty good fight. Uh, yesterday against Atletico Madrid, I was actually narrating uh, a game from the Argentine League and I had that game right next to me. They managed to win it in the last, I think it was the last two, three minutes of regular time with, with a goal by, by Depay. But it's been a team that, again, it's, it's been back and forth. It's, it's, it's had its moments like Girona, like Atletico Bilbao, but then it's on other times it's been very disappointing. Um, the good thing is, in my opinion, they've been taking care of the important games. They've been taking care of the important games. Whenever they have to play an important game, they've been taking care of business. So, listen, it's to me, it's one of those games that I really don't want to stay away from. I don't see any good value. I, I, I'm going with what Oaks put on this one, which is both teams to score, but it was minus 110, so I don't, I don't want to go along the negative sides. I don't like to talk about negative numbers. So I'm staying away from this one, but it should be – it could be one of those disgusting zero zeros, or it could be one of those games that we just see goals left and right because both defenses, at least in the last couple of games, have not been good whatsoever. Yeah, Sevilla plus 0.25 at plus money. Uh, I think we start this game, Oaks, at 1-1. Yeah, and I probably I probably would have a little more pushback on that if I didn't just see him score against Atleti because, like I said, Rial has been pretty bad home or away. Um, there's a couple of interesting things going on here. Um, look, I I'm interested to see what happens with Sevilla and Nazari should be back and should be available for this game since Monaco's eliminated now. Um, I, I think that if you're Sevilla, there's no way you put Romero on the bench right now. He's the only guy getting buckets for you right now. I know he's a lead two call up. I know he's a young guy. I mentioned him last week and then he scored for us. So like, I'm telling you, this Romero kid can flat out play. So I don't know how he goes back on the bench. I'll be interested to see how they kind of deal with that, especially with a guy like Nazri who is good and can finish, but didn't really do it for you before he left for AFCON. And, you know, he had a goal or two for Monaco. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I watched every Monaco game and AFCON. I watched like the two I bet on and he had a goal in one of them. So mm -hmm. I'm not hundred percent on his stats. I think that Ryo at home can build on that momentum from scoring against Atleti a little bit. Um, look, this team knows they're not the best. They also know they're not the worst. Uh, Sevilla's having a very down year. I think they under they can smell the blood in the water and at home in a tough building. I think they get at least a goal and Sevilla, they can't stop anybody and, and Rio can't either. So uh, if Romero starts, I really like the both teams to score here. Even if a Nazari starts and you bench Romero and you bring him on as a super sub early, I, I, I like that and I, I might play Romero live because He's the only guy getting buckets for this Sevilla team, and he looks good doing it. Okay, and the draw is at plus 245 as well, but Sevilla plus 0 0.25, which means if they draw, then you do win half your money. So you're getting the, a side against a, a side who can't score twice. So I think if uh, Sevilla score once, then you're going to pick up something. Let's have a little look at the official picks of game number six, and that is both teams to score minus 110.